What's up guys, it's Fief Chief here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we have for you an insane trading method to help you make a ton of coins on FIFA 20. So if you are enjoying the content, please subscribe. Over 85% of you that watch my videos aren't subscribed. It helps me out a ton and you'll be entered into the FIFA points giveaway that I'm going to be doing at 1000 subscribers. So with that said, please subscribe and let's jump right into this method. So guys, this method, it's it's a simple one to kind of show you and stuff, but it, you need like a decent amount of market knowledge to kind of use it. So basically, this is going to be based upon the idea that there's a lot of SBCs for Team of the Season being released, and a lot of cards go up in price as these SBCs are released. So basically, we're going to be looking to bid on cards for nice and cheap that we'll be able to pick up and then sell on for more coins. So... To use this filter, the base of it is you're going to put your minimum price to 650 your minimum bid price, your maximum bid price to 850 and we're just going to go through the bids here, and we're just going to look to pick up players that are going to go for more than discard, basically. Basically, any player we can pick up for discard that gets decent links, uh, decently high rated, anything 82 rated or above, we're willing to bid like a thousand coins on, basically. And then also we're going to be looking to get anyone that gets good links, like that Harry Winks we were trying to bid on there, but we get kicked out of the uh, the thing there. But here we go. Let's jump back in. Like Jaka here, 850. I don't want to go for him. But anyone we're able to get on discard here is going to be fantastic. So let's kind of look through these guys. Let's make sure this is still right. So 650, 850. And this is what we're going to be doing. We basically just go through all these cards. And guys, this works wonders right when lightning rounds come out. Because a lot of people are listing cards up, and then like an hour later, there's just a ton of cards that have been listed up, and you can try to win on open bid. And basically, we're just going to try to be picking up rare cards with good links for around discard price, and then hopefully sell them on for more. So guys like Mkhitaryan, Alexis Sanchez, Alexis Sanchez, I'll go 950 on. Any 82s, we're, 82s or above, like I said, we're willing to go more willing to go for more but then we're just looking for guys that have good links that, here that we can pick up on discard someone like grob here if we had him for discard there we'd go for him uh perrin is an 82 i'll bid 900 let's just kind of see what other players we can uh we can get here masaccio if we can get him for 750 there would be a steal so it's basically just getting these guys that have decent ratings and these are going to go up a ton when sbcs for packs and stuff get released and a ton of people are trying to uh, get these guys. Someone like Jimenez is a decent one. People are trying to get these guys. And basically, you're just going to have a club stocked full of these guys that we got for near discard. And this is like a no-risk kind of thing because we're getting them all the way down at their minimum price. So worst case scenario, we would just like discard these guys and lose 100 coins a card or something. So that's the best part about this is that it's basically no risk to do this kind of thing. It's really easy to do as well. You just sit here, kick back, and you can just bid on any sort of card here. Now, there's not a ton of rares up right now because I'm on really late at night and the market just isn't too hot right now. But again, if you're doing this during lightning rounds, like an hour after they come out, when everyone just has tons of uh, low-rated cards to sit up for nice and cheap, you're going to be getting tons of these guys. Now, this is kind of like the first way to do this. The second way is you can pick like specific players and then mass bid on them. So I'm going to show you a couple players here that you can kind of uh, pick out and then just kind of mass bid on them, and it's really good. And just kind of some guys that have always worked for me when I'm doing this. So let's move into that now. So let's go check and see what we if we won any of these. We won one. So you're not going to win every card, obviously, but here we are winning some. So Mkhitaryan, Sanchez, Perrin, Zuma, and Abraham are all really good ones to get. Again, Abraham is nice and cheap there. He didn't even go for 850, but for discard, he's a great investment because he's a rare card that gets a strong link in the Premier in the Premier League to any English player. So he's a great one to try to pick up. Maybe Danny Ceballos. We go 900 on. These guys aren't involved there. So let's move into the uh, what I was talking about. So basically, to pick out some players to show you guys that are really good for this. We're going to go to Big Leah here. Now, you're going to want to have a lot of players for this because there's not going to be tons of cards for, like, one player listed up. So, basically, Big Leah, we're going to kind of check his price here. As an 82 rated in the Italian League, he'll have around a 1,000 coin uh, price tag here. So, he goes pretty much a 1,000 coins on the dot. 
no more, no less. So if we go to 900 here, we're just going to bid on all these guys for 8 here. I'm willing to go to 9, but I bid 800. So if one more person like one-ups me, they bid 850, then I'll bid 900. And that's my final bid for those. So as you can see, someone has bid 700 on all of these. But we're going to go ahead and bid 800 on all of them. And hopefully we can win some of those. And then we'll jump into some more players here. Um, another one that's a bit more expensive that I really like. Maybe if your budget's a bit lower, you stay away from him. But someone like Rugani as an Italian center back from Juventus, 82 rated, is really solid. As you can see, he's like 1,300 coins. So any of these guys, we're going to bid 1,000 coins on, and hopefully we can get them. Even 1,100 I do really like as a price. So we're going to go ahead and bid 1,000 on all these as well. I think he's a really good one to get. And then I got some more here as well that we'll jump into. A couple more really solid ones. Let's see what our bids are looking like. We're outbid on one item. Let's see is one big leader there. We miss him before he expires, unfortunately, but we get that Ceballos as well. And then all these big leaders we still have. So this is just, it's like a nice way to club stock and prepare for the uh, the coming SBCs and hopefully be able to uh, have a ton of expensive players in your club. So the next one I want to show you guys would be someone like James Madison, another 82 rated guy in the Premier League. But surprisingly, he is only like a thousand, he's under a thousand coins, basically. So this guy's going to be an insane buy for you. He's going 900 coins. So we could win this guy on bid 800 fairly easily for all of these. So we're going to go ahead and bid 800 on every card here. Someone's bidding 750. So hopefully they're not going to uh, outbid us here. But 800 for an 82 rated English midfielder from the Premier League is just way too low. 82s, you'll always be able to sell like 1,200 coins to lazy buyers, no doubt. So another one that I really like, there's two more here that I, I'm big fans of. Lucas Torreira is another one, very similar to Madison. He doesn't get the strong links, but still 900 coins for him. So we're going to go through and just bid 800 on every single card here. And we're going to pick up tons of these and get tons of coins out of these guys whenever a good SBC comes out. And then another one that I'm a big fan of, this one even more than Torreira, would be uh, Juan Mata. He's Spanish in the Premier League, so he gets good links. He's 82 rated on Manchester United as well. He goes 1,000 coins here, a bit more than Torreira and uh, Madison. But again, we'll probably be able to get him on bid for 800, even 900 I'd be fine with. So as you can see, all of these guys have no bids on them, so these would be huge for us to pick up for very cheap. So let's go check our bids. I could tell we were getting outbid on some stuff because our coins were going up. But still, we are winning some of these. Big Lee has a couple of them. We're getting bought. Rugani there got purchased. But again, we are still getting a good amount of these cards. We Two Big Lee is there for 800. And we already know he sells for 1,000. So we could sell him for like tiny bits of profit right now. But right now, we're not really worried about that. We're worried about kind of saving these guys for when they're a bit more expensive. Looking to make those bigger amounts of coins over the long term, over the long haul, if, if that works better. So go ahead and get rid of that there. Um, and then the, there's just a lot of players you can do this with. Um, even the lower rated players that you're able to uh, get on discard might be a bit better as in terms of like a like a no no risk kind of thing. Like Grob here is 800. So if we just go to like 700 bid and we just start bidding on all these guys, we would definitely be able to get some. And he'd be a really solid investment for us, so definitely recommend him. Another guy very similar to Grubb, Premier League German center mid, would be Max Meyer here. I'm guessing he's about the same price, about 800 coins. He's a bit more expensive, he's 900, but again, you, he's 78 rated. You'll be able to get him nice and cheap here if we go to like 800 coins here. So we'd bid on all these guys for like 700, 800 there for that one. So you're able to get these guys nice and cheap. And it's just a crazy way to make a ton of coins here. As you just keep throwing these players into your club and as SBCs come out, it's just really easy to sell these guys. As you can see, we're getting these guys for cheap. Madison, 800, 900. Mata, 900. So right now we're getting them for cheaper than they go for already. And then when SBCs get released, they will just shoot up in price and we'll sell all of them for tons and tons of profit. So basically... It's just about getting these guys on bid for cheap and kind of listing them up when their prices are at the highest they'll be at. So yeah, that's basically where we're at is just kind of selling and buying at the correct times. 
Again, this is much better to do when you're on during lightning rounds and stuff when new team of the seasons get released. So even the day this is uploaded, which will be Sunday for you guys, uh, it will be a really good day to uh, do the lightning rounds as well. There will be lightning rounds at the first three hours after the content drop. So yeah, there will be lots of cards getting put on the market, lots of guys getting put on open bid. Now there's a ton more guys I could show you that you could do individually, but personally I think the best way to do it is just to go to like the minimum bid price 650, the maximum bid price 850. And then just go through and pick out the cards that look like solid ones. Someone like Bender there is a good one. Someone like that, a left mid, Gozens, he is a solid one. German left mid. Um, some other ones here that we could go for. An 82 here in Mario Fernandez is solid. Quagliarella is an 83 we could try. Matic for 800 coins is a good one. There's just so many good ones we could try out here. Uh, Zinchenko as a Premier League left back. Uh, someone put a bid down on him, unfortunately. Uh, so yeah, it's just about picking out the right cards here, buying and selling at the right time. This might be a bit confusing for some people, so if you have any questions, make sure to drop them in the comments down below. But that's going to be it for this video. So if you guys did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe to be entered into the giveaway I'm going to be doing, and I'll catch you in the next video.